Hey guys, Jeremy here, and today I want to show you how you can stream your Xbox One directly to your PC using Windows 10. This is a new feature and it's pretty cool, but before we get started, you're going to need a few things in order to get this working. First thing you're going to need is Windows 10. Now, fortunately, it is a free download. If you currently have Windows 7 or Windows 8 installed on your own personal non-enterprise computer, that's a good thing. Very, very, very good. Second thing that you're going to need to do is download the Xbox app from the Windows Store once you have Windows 10 installed. You're pretty much good to go at that point. Only thing you need to check is make sure that both your Xbox One and your PC with Windows 10 are connected to the same network, meaning you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network or you're just connected through Ethernet on one end and then maybe Wi-Fi on the other end. However you want to do it, make sure that they're connected to the same router in some way. So once you do that, the process is very, very easy to set up. So I'm going to show you what it's like on my end, and I am not using the most optimal conditions for streaming. I both have my PC and my Xbox, Xbox One running over Wi-Fi. Xbox One is on 5 gigahertz band. PC is on the 2.4 gigahertz band, all wirelessly. So if the performance doesn't seem like it's all that great, just know that yours can be better if you wired it up. So without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, so here we are in the Xbox app on Windows 10. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. You know, here's the little home screen here. It shows you all the little activities that's going on with your followers and people that you follow and all that good stuff. That's fine. But what we really want to pay attention to is the streaming capability. So we're gonna go down to this option right here. It says connect your Xbox One. So if your Xbox One is already on and you're connected to the same network as you are your Windows 10 PC, you'll see it show up here. So all you have to do is make sure that it is connected there. And then from that point, all you have to do is hit the stream button. You can also test the stream so you can know how the quality is gonna be. But if you want to jump right into it, just click stream. Brings up a screen that's saying that it's connected to the Xbox One. And then you're good to go, except notice right there. It says that this PC isn't connected to an Xbox controller. Attach one and try again. You cannot control the Xbox One unless you have either an Xbox 360 or Xbox One controller plugged into your PC. That's the only way to get this message to go away, at least for now. So if you got a spare Xbox 360 controller lying around, or you can just take a regular USB cable connected to your Xbox One controller, connected to your PC, and you can do it from there too. Once you do have your Xbox controller plugged into your PC, you can go ahead and hit continue and you should be good to go. So all I'm doing right now, I'm just controlling my Xbox One directly from my PC. Now the television is directly to my right and what I am doing on the computer screen and what I'm doing uh, on the actual television is pretty much one-to-one. -one. It feels really good, even streaming over this, over this Wi-Fi connection. So really, you can do whatever you can do on your Xbox One, except you'll just be using your PC to do it. Why would you do this, for example? Well, maybe you have your Xbox One connected to a television that someone else is currently using, and you want to do something on the Xbox. Well, that's what this will be for. Is this gonna take the place of your actual TV? Probably not, because it does not look as great as it would natively on your TV, but it is a good option for you to have in case you are running into a situation where you can't immediately access your, your Xbox One on your television. So, just for a little example here, I am going to play a game. Just something that's really quick to show you how this is like. I think I will just do, uh, let's just do Killer Instinct. Why not? Killer Instinct Season 2. Now this is a fighting game. Uh, it's very twitchy, requires controls to be you know, done very quickly and smoothly. So we're going to see what this is like too. So from what I can feel right now besides me, geez, getting my butt kicked by folk, Jesus, look at that. My God, I just want to make a disclaimer that I have not played this game in like forever. So do not judge me, but you probably will anyway. But, you know, it feels okay. You know, it's not terrible. 
if Fogor will stop attacking me for a minute, I can say that as I'm pressing buttons and I'm looking at the screen, you know, the response time is quite good. So after he beats me up and I lose this match, oh, Jeremy, you suck at Killer Instinct. All right, so we lost that match, but you know, it, it still feels good. The whole point is how this thing feels. And even over Wi-Fi, you know, this is working fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna go back to the, to the main menu here and I'm going to quit this game. So now I'm gonna check out Volgar the Viking. This is a side-scrolling game, kind of similar. It's like Golden Sun, you know, stuff like that. And I'm going to break this open. I'm going to get a shield. And here we go. You know, this feels, again, just like Killer Instinct. It feels good. Now, occasionally, you run into an instance where it will be like some uh, quick pixelation here and there. How do I do this? I'm just going to roll through. We see some quick pixelation here and there from the stream trying to catch up with itself. But, you know, other than that, you know, it looks good, it feels good. Microsoft did a really good job of making this nice and easy for, for us to get up and running, and this is really cool. Now, another cool thing about this, you can actually record your gameplay footage as the game DVR, and you can save it directly on your PC. In order to do that, you just hold the Windows key on your uh, keyboard, and you hit G, and it brings up this little menu here. Then you will be able to hit the record feature which is right here now unfortunately if I try to do it it tells me that this computer does not meet the hardware requirements to record video I don't know why that's a little bit weird um, I can use game capture footage just fine with something like an Elgato but for some reason it just won't let me do it on the Xbox one but yeah that's pretty much it you know that's how you would stream from your Xbox One directly to your Windows 10 PC. It's free, it's easy, and you know, this can be a very good alternative to actually playing on your TV if you do not have the ability to do it at that time. Now, you do still have to be connected to the same network. So, to the best of my knowledge, this isn't something like uh, remote play on the PS4 where you can be miles away and still access your console. This is just a local thing. Perhaps that will change in the future, but for now, this is what you can do. So, go ahead and try it out if you are so inclined. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I will talk to you later.